today I have a brand new challenge that, as far as I've been able to find, has never been done on YouTube before. Something in my brain tells me that that tone sounded lavender. I don't know why. Did I make a mistake in making this? I think I might have made a mistake. Oh no. Hey y'all, I'm Drake and this is Drake Makes Art. So. I've been making YouTube videos for a little over two months now, and since I started doing this full time, I've had a couple people come up to me and ask, like, what exactly is your job? Like, what do you do now? And I've kind of skirted around the question, you know, I've said like, oh, I make videos, or I'm a content creator, and I, I haven't really felt comfortable calling myself a YouTuber yet. But today that changes, because if I've learned anything from the thousands of hours I've spent watching YouTube, it's that you can't really call yourself a YouTuber until you've completed a challenge. And so today I have a brand new challenge that, as far as I've been able to find, has never been done on YouTube before. Introducing the Sound of Color Quiz. So the idea for this challenge came to me while I was thinking about the fact that sound and light are both waves. You know, we tend to think of sound in terms of its frequency and light in terms of its wavelength, but really those are just inverses of each other relative to the speed of the wave. And if we know the speed of sound and the speed of light, we can convert wavelengths to frequencies and frequencies to wavelengths. So I thought it would be fun to take the six main colors of the rainbow, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, and convert them to sound tones, and then try to guess which tone goes with which color. Now, this wasn't as straightforward as it sounds for a number of reasons. First of all, the colors we see aren't made up of single wavelengths of light. They're actually composites of several different frequencies across bands of the visible spectrum. So to get my colors down to a single wavelength, or what's called a spectral color, I took the median frequency of the band for each color. Once I had the wavelengths, it was a really simple process to convert them to frequencies because I know the speed of light in a vacuum, it's a universal constant, so I just do a little bit of math and suddenly my wavelengths are now frequencies. But there's still a problem because the auditory spectrum that humans can hear is separated from the visual spectrum that humans can see by several orders of magnitude. For example, the highest frequency or shortest wavelength of sound that a human can hear is about 15,000 hertz, which has a wavelength of roughly 0.02 meters. The longest wavelength of light that a human can see is about 380 nanometers, which is 0 0.00000038 meters. bit of a big gap there. I thought about fixing this problem by normalizing the scales, but then I realized that since the visual spectrum is so small and the auditory spectrum is so wide, I can just scale everything up by a factor of 10 to the 12th, and all of the visual frequencies will fall inside the auditory spectrum. So I didn't have to normalize the scales, I just shifted everything up by 12 orders of magnitude. Once I had the frequencies I was going to use, I used an online tone generator to save WAV files of all of them. Don't worry, I didn't cheat, I didn't listen to any of them before making this video. Then I put together a little slideshow in Keynote, and I had my wife actually mix up all of the links so that I don't know what order any of these uh, questions are going to be in. And so, that's how I made the quiz, and without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. The Sound of Color Quiz. Okay, so this one's a little bit higher frequency, which means it has a shorter wavelength. Which means that it's going to be closer to red, because red is the shortest wavelength of light. Right? No, red is the longest wavelength of light. It's going to be closer to violet. I'm kind of getting blue vibes from that tone. I'm gonna go with my gut. I think it's blue. I was right. It's blue. Haha. <laughs> okay. Next question. Ooh. 
Okay, that one was lower, so I definitely don't think it's violet. Is it yellow? I think it might be yellow. I kind of got some yellow, yellow, but it also could be green. Does that sound like yellow? Is that what yellow sounds like? The e I don't know. Or is it orange? I think it's orange. No, it was green! It, 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 green is one of my favorite, well, I mean, my favorite color is the color of the ocean, but I don't know, that was such a big gap from blue to green, like they were so different. I, uh, mm, okay, okay. I was not expecting the jump from blue to green to be that big, um, because those felt like totally different areas of the, of the spectrum. Ooh, this one's, this one's even lower. Something about that tone feels very, like, earthy to me. Like, it feels very, like, it's obviously deeper, but it feels like a, like, it's not a rumble, it's definitely a tone, but it feels like it could be a rumble, you know? Like, maybe it's a harmonic of a rumble, and it feels like something that would come from the earth, like, from the depths of the earth. I think it's orange. I'm gonna go with orange. No, it was red. Wow. Okay. Okay. It was more magma than lava, I guess. You know. Okay. Magma being what comes from inside the earth. Lava being what's on top of the earth after it's been expelled. Which is why red is magma and orange is lava. Logic. Okay, this is where things are starting to get a little tricky. I'm not sure if that was higher or lower than the green and the blue. Because I'm down to two choices, and one of them's yellow and the other one's violet. So I'll at least get the last one right, <laughs> I think. Is it, is it yellow? Or is it violet? Something in my brain tells me that that tone sounded lavender. I don't know why. So I'm gonna say it's violet. No, it was orange. It was orange. What? Hold on. Did I make a mistake in making this? I think I might have made a mistake. Oh no. Okay, this one's definitely violet. Yeah, that one's definitely violet. It has very high frequency, which means very short wavelength. This is the color that gives you sunburn. Hopefully it doesn't burn your ears. No, it's yellow? How is it yellow? What? Well, I mean, I guess sunlight is also yellow, isn't it? <laughs> I have only gotten one correct so far. <laughs> Oh, I'm not good at this. Okay. This one's definitely violet. It's definitely very, very high. Very, very tight, quick frequency. Yeah. Yay! I got two. I know my blue and I know my violet. <laughs> and that's the end. I got the first one and I got the last one. <laughs> oh. I need to, do I need to brush up on my color theory to fix this? I think I might. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something. I hope you found this as enjoyable as I did. It was definitely a lot of fun converting all of these wavelengths of light into frequencies of sound. And I'm kind of wondering, can I go the other way? You know, like, can I take the audible spectrum and convert it to light and then maybe take, like, music and convert music into works of art? That would be a lot of fun. Maybe I might try to do that for next week. Let's see what happens. Let me know if that's something that you want me to do. Like, let me know in the comments. Suggest a piece of music that I could convert into a work of art. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, if you think I've earned it, give this video a like and a subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And uh, I'll see you next time when we make something new. Bye.